Okay, tubers, today I want to show you the initial setup before I start filming. And today I'm going to be shooting the Mini 14. I'm also going to shoot the new SIG 220 that I just got. I really like this gun a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is just practice some transitions between shooting the 45 and the Mini 14. Okay, today I'm going to be shooting this Winchester USA Valor. I've never shot this one before, so we'll load up the Ruger with these 62 grain. You know, these are these green tips that I've shot before. You know, it's kind of like just plinking rounds. All right, let's take out this magazine. I'll load it up with five, <clears throat> just five. All right. I'm gonna add this butt pad holster to the back of the stock. This is from Spectre Gear. It works really good. All right. And it looks like I already got some rounds loaded in the other magazine. So let's just put it right back in there, close it up, and then put this one that has five in it back in the thing. Okay, so for the SIG 220, okay, got some Winchester Ball 230 grain loaded in here. This is my favorite holster ever, Safari Land, the 220. Will also fit in there. It actually fits in there better than the the uh, 226. So that's that's awesome. I love it when a holster just works for multiple guns, and the big night sights don't obtruse anything when you put it in there. Just so I have magazines on me constantly, I'm gonna use my my other Spectre Gear mag holder to hold the mags. I usually keep these for my concealed carry, SIG 365. I'm just gonna take out the extra mags for the 365 and use them for the uh, 220. Just put them in there, just like that. Close it up. And then I'll just attach this straight to my belt. Get in close. My favorite backpack, as you see, Go Rook. This is the GR1, Army Green. Ranger Green. I sent my other Heritage, my Wax Canvas Heritage pack to SCARS program. I'm having them customize it and add some molly straps and a, a handle on uh, the side. So I can't wait to get that back. If y'all haven't noticed already, I'm kind of obsessed with backpacks. <laughs> and I really like the Go Rook bags. All right. So let's put on the, uh, the holster. This is a really nice belt right here. This is from Hank's Belts. They make really tough leather belts. Lion steel knife back on. And then let's put the safari. Snap. All right, got the 220. Put that sucker in there, close it up. And this is the time I crack open my Red Bull. Let's get this bad boy. Oh, I haven't held him in a while. He feels good. Let's see if that butt pack's gonna get in my way. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, we'll leave it like that. All right, give me one second and I'll have y'all set up. Stand by. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. First of all, I put on my most ridiculous hat that I own, so enjoy that. Second, I'm going to take the Mini 14, shoot at these targets. Actually, I'm not going to shoot at these targets. I'm going to shoot next to the targets. We don't really care where I hit at. That's why I'm shooting right next to them into the logs. I don't want to shoot the steel with 5.56. Five, 
shoot down range twice and then transition to my pistol and shoot the target twice as well. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is shoot and then cup it over my shoulder and then draw my pistol from the same side. See, I'm right-handed. I can already tell you this is gonna be difficult for me because everything is on this side. So what I might end up doing is shooting and then transitioning like this and then going into the pistol. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Shot. Let's give it a couple shots and I'm gonna put legit ear pro in today. 5.56 five, loud. There's no magazine in the pistol. I have the magazines right here. And you're like, hey, why would you ever carry an empty pistol? Um, please, I'm trying to practice loading from these magazines. So please don't comment. Why would you walk around with an empty pistol? Please don't comment that. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Okay, I'm trying to practice. All right, enough of that. So I'm gonna pull up, shoot twice, put it on safety. Sling it over the shoulder, draw the pistol, put a mag in it. All right, this is going to take forever. Let's do it. Kind of staggered isosceles stance. Okay, here we go. I went at, whoo, it went down my shirt. I went at grandma's pace. Okay, I went at grandma's pace just now, but that was to be expected. At least I hit the target with the 45. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's do it again. That bullet went in my shirt. Where you at? Uh, okay, yep, look away. I gotta button myself back up. I don't expose myself to the camera. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again. Should have three left in the mini. So I'd say, get it ready. Yep. that second shot. Well, just that second shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely fumbling. I'm definitely fumbling when I get to the mag to the pistol. So, that was a good little practice. Now let's let's put the magazine in the pistol like we would do in the wild if I was to do this. Of course I'm going to carry a pistol with the mag in the gun, but just to add one step of practice to this, I'm going to leave the chamber empty so I at least have to rack it when I draw it, okay? Again, I would not do this in the wild. I'm just doing this for the sake of practicing right now. Do not want to hear no comments about this bullshit. All right, so that was two more shots. I should have just one shot left in the mini. All right, so since I only have one shot left in the mini, I'm gonna shoot the one shot and then take out my spare magazine, change it out, shoot two more times, and then go with the pistol. Let's see how much I messed this one up. Okay, all right. Get ready, yep. Yep, hit it the first. 
first time, missed the other three shots. All right, we got one shot left. Let's just go ahead and wait. Yeah, one shot left. Hey, she didn't lock back for me. I was possibly riding the big slide release. All right, you know, um, that was ancient grandma pace that I just displayed, but I'm actually just shocked I was even able to do it at all. So take that one out. Watch this sucker. Oh, I didn't do it. All right, well, let's, that was fun. And he's got a little heat to it. But yeah, it's going to sexy. This is the first time I've shot it with the new stock on, by the way. So this stock is really, really nice. And it's never going to come off the Mini. I'm keeping the stock on there forever. All right. Let me uh, stop the cameras and we'll move on to something else. Ugh. Ow. This one should look good. That one should look good. All right, everything looks good. I like it. You're recording. You're going to be recording in just a moment. This shot over there looks gorgeous. Set up, use it. All right, give it a moment to focus. Everything must be perfect. All right, tuck in your shirt. All right, give me a second. Okay guys, I kind of enjoyed that drill that we just did, so we're gonna do it again. But this time I got two soda jugs set up next to the targets and I'm gonna shoot both of them with the Mini 14. So those two shots are gonna be bam, bam. It probably won't be that quick, but you know, I'm just imagining myself at my best, so that's what I'm imagining. Okay, so no, none in the chamber, none in the chamber. All right, let's do this. All right, son, you just ruined everything. Hurry it up. Because I just looked at the footage and you kind of messed up a couple shots. <sighs> Let me practice while the sun's out. So, oh, see, I'm not left-handed. That's hard as shit for me to do. I, I like doing it like this. So if I was to do it, I would go like this and shoot, but I know the pistol's gonna get in the way. You know, if I'm careful, I think I could do it. Man, that feels like... <laughs> feels like I'm part of the flag line or something trying to twirl this sucker. Now, let's just do it on the right hand shoulder. I, I, it's just, it's way easier for me. So, I'll try not to get hung up on the pistol. Just to let y'all know, on film sets, this is a real thing. When the sun... So I work on the film sets. I, I, I work on professional film sets, okay? Uh, part of the props department, also part of greens, and uh, trying to get into camera department right now. But anyways, when sun comes out like this, they stop. Because it ruins everything. Usually they have a big overhead and it blocks the sun, gives us nice shade. But when there's no overhead, they... All right, five minutes. Somebody looks up at the clouds and can judge how long it takes for that cloud to cover up the sun so we have nice, clean looking exposure. Almost there, 10 seconds. Come on, buddy. There it is. All right, that's good enough for me. Okay, let's turn around and do this. All right, I saw the leaves. That's the way I like it. Okay, here we go. Magazine wasn't in there all the way. Let's just keep this going. All right. Well, 
Well, it took me forever to get on those targets. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what's your favorite gun in my arsenal or collection, because I'll start doing more videos about that specific gun. You know, I have my favorites, but if y'all like to see a specific gun, just, you know, let me know, and uh, I'll start making more videos about it. Okay, take it easy.